show a little shoulder for the people. Show a little shoulder. Hey, hey, y'all. I'm Irma Tamer, and welcome back to my studio. What y'all think? We working on it, y'all. The intros will continue to evolve. Okay, I'm gonna be real. 100%, okay. I wasn't gonna do any studio vlogs this month because October is jam packed. Um, I'm working on the pieces for the Bellevue Art Museum exhibition, Yellow Number no. 5, curated by my girl, Tarika. I'm a little, she's a little bit behind that light. <laughs> A little bit. I'm working on three pieces. They're coming along. Just the third one is really giving me a run for my money. And I was like, let, let me film this. This is the creative process. Like it takes courage to create. I, I feel like for me, like I really have to be brave in the process because it can truly be like a blow to the ego when you're trying to, when you're trying to create and now it's look, it's, <laughs> looking kind of janky but now you love it but now you hate it like man the highs and the lows and the ups and the downs of the creative process is real and so i'm like you know what let's break out the camera let folks know that that this is the real tea and this is what really goes down in the studio i'm also working on updating the studio store y'all we got so much new new coming so i'm gonna be taking some photos of the new merch that is on the way in addition to that i have the amazing opportunity to paint shoes for the seahawks coach pete carroll i am beyond geek for that they are doing a coach the vote campaign where they're inspiring people to vote which is so perfect because your girl oh your girl wait where are they where are the pins let me go grab these okay <laughs> focus focus back i'm back okay okay it's back so in addition to that the pins are here y'all i am beyond geek so the v pins remember i painted the v for the black lives matter boom don't focus on me Focus on the pin, <laughs> focus on the pin. Anywho, I'm gonna show y'all some more footage of that a little bit later, but they just arrived yesterday and I'm super, super excited. Of course, the V is for vote, y'all. Gotta get out there and vote, it's real. So I'm super excited to be doing the campaign with Pete Carroll for Coach the Vote, but I didn't even, like literally, if y'all ever order enamel pins, then you know it takes a solid month for them bad boys to get here, okay? So um, I ordered those a long time ago and then his team reached out to me to partner. And so I was like, oh, this is a perfect like conjunction with his coach to vote and then my V pins encouraging people to vote. It's just perfect, it's just perfect. So by the time y'all see this video, they will be officially live and up on the studio source where you can shop those now right at the description below. Um, so that <laughs> pretty much, <laughs> that's why your girl wasn't gonna be filming much on the studio or like here on the tube because I gotta paint these shoes for Pete Carroll. Your girl needs to finish up these huge paintings for the Bellevue Art Museum exhibition. I need to update the studio store and do a whole new launch, okay? Yeah, there are a lot of things going on, but this is life. This is art and business and creativity and your girl is ready. Hey, 2020 not gonna hold us back. Grab y'all a cup of tea and let's hop into the studio vlog. So this is the sketch for Pete Carroll's shoe. Ah, I'm super excited for this. So they definitely wanted the words coach the vote on it. So we got hashtag coach the vote. This is gonna be some chains that wraps around. The football is gonna be in gold. It's gonna be bursting through, baby, breaking the chains. Um, and then we're gonna have a Seattle cityscape on the toe in metallic gold. So that's one side of it. This is the other side right here in bold. It says coach the vote with the Seahawks colors. And then we got the whistle here for coach. You know, coaches be out there. I'm so official. All I need is a whistle, baby. <laughs> so we got the whistle up there. Chain's gonna wrap around the toe and then the Nike swoosh is gonna be the V for vote. Yeah, super excited about it. So I just sent that sketch out to his team. They'll let me know what they think on it. And once I get the approval, I'm able to get started and started painting it. For now, <laughs> I see this painting behind me and it is looming over my head. You know what, sometimes when I'm not feeling the painting, I will literally just completely start from scratch. For like, paint over it, completely start from scratch. And I think that's what I'm gonna do with this piece. So let's hop into it.
I've been trying to be cute for y'all. I've been trying to be cute. <laughs> but at the end of the day, we are not trying to get paint on our cute little spider. In the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that say stick up. She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker. Bill, I'm in the mood for a change up. I leave the city and return with my change up. They got amnesia, don't remember how they played us. They wanna knock me down, but somehow I just stay up. Straight to the stage, they love me. love me. I understand they hungry, but please don't hate, that's ugly. I've been sliding, shaking, moving. I've been popping in my city. Shout it, say Made a lot of progress. That paint layer needs to dry. I took so many photos, but I still have more to take, but it's like I already have photos of those images. 
the problem is those prints have matte boards on them and with this new store launch they're not going to come with the matte boards so I should probably retake the photo so people don't get confused about what they're going to get um okay what time is it it's 2 30 I'm coming back I'm coming back Ooh, I just got an email from their team cool she says she loves it it looks awesome she needs to run it by <laughs> the NFL team to make sure that it's all good it's all good it should it should probably be all good there's nothing crazy in there you know okay I'm gonna take this last batch of photos then we're gonna wrap it up head home get some lunch and then I'm gonna be coming back see y'all in a bit The whole next day and I'm just now checking in um yeah so Emily just left with Bellevue Art Museum we did a interview from uh, promoting the show the yellow number five exhibition is coming up beyond geeked about that uh, just got off a meeting with Shannon because the studio store is about to launch tomorrow so you, I'm about to work on getting the newsletter together um, but right now I'm about to paint okay your girl needs to paint but I literally just finished up painting earlier today. This was the last, last, last day for the Black Lives Matter mural. Um, you know, we did it last weekend, whatever, whatever day that was, but we all collectively came together to paint the letter I, and some of us didn't finish. I was one of those people. Well, I mean, like, I kind of was, I was, I was cool with kind of like letting it be how it was. But since we did have the opportunity to come out and put some more layers on it, I was like, let me go, let me touch it up. This is going to be here for years to come. So let's make sure that it is a beautiful representation of the message on top of my work in general. So finished that up. That was this morning. Emily came, we did an interview. She did recording of the studio. Um, yeah, and now, I, I 
always I always get in this conundrum like where I feel guilty for painting if I still have emails to write or some editing to do on my website or like the newsletter to get out and it's still just this mindset of when I was painting as a hobby where I was painting as like escape but now <laughs> painting is my profession so I shouldn't feel any type of way about going away and painting but it's just like it's just so much fun if you feeling like I'm not working knowing when I have other official work to do it still it still just feels weird but yeah okay I'm an artist your girl paint so I'm gonna paint right now and then I'm gonna work on the newsletter tomorrow so I'm gonna see y'all in a second it has it's been a successful week we did a lot a lot of the stuff I didn't even film because I'm, I want to keep some of the paintings a secret for the for the yellow number five exhibition so if you are in Seattle make sure you come out to that we are gonna have some digital offerings as well I'm gonna share more as I have more information actually um oh yeah yeah so I told you all that Emily came by uh, she's one of the social media managers of Bellevue Art Museum so you all might be seeing a little video of me floating around Facebook and Instagram. If you do, make sure you tag me in it on Instagram. I would love to say that and say like, hey, Aramis, I'm part of the tube team so I can know where y'all coming from. Yeah, we got a whole lot done this week during the studio. And last week I showed you all the video of me and Andy creating the art table. Oh my God, that was that was a blast, okay? But um, recently I painted it all white so it looks nice and crispy. I've been using that surface to take the photos for the products and the merch and stuff. Speaking of, I officially launched the V-Pins, the new online shop is available now y'all all the photos that y'all saw me take those are all on the online shop the v pins are officially available <sighs> y'all i just made a post about that on my instagram and in like one day i sold almost 100 pins so i am super super grateful for y'all um so the v pins this is a limited edition i'm not going to be restocking those so if you want those pins make sure you get that but i am going to be doing a relaunch of the mama's gun pin everybody been dming me they've been wanting me to bring those back i love them too so i'm excited to bring that back and here for the tube team i'm going to be doing a video showing y'all how i make the enamel pins and what that process is like i know for me um, when i was making them i was searching tons of stuff on youtube and there's some good info but there's there's still some stuff that I feel like I can add and help y'all out a little bit. So stay tuned for that video. And thank you so much for joining me in the studio today. And remember, if you liked it, like it. And I'll see you all next time. Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose till I hiccup. I